Hi, this screencast is going to walk through translating web forms. My name is Jake Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. How do you translate a web form? Well, web forms are configuration entities which are translatable using Drupal 8's built in multilingual capabilities. The key thing to this screencast is about how you're translating web form elements. Um, there's a little nuance here that it does require an understanding of YAML. Um, when I show it to you, you'll start to understand it's very easy to translate all your form element labels at once instead of having to navigate to each individual element. Um, you can also leverage automated and professional translation tools like the LinguaTech module. So this is the UI. It's the configuration translation UI, but you, your elements are converted into this YAML, which is displayed. Um, and it's easier just to show it to you. So I'm going to jump over. I have, I'm going to use the contact form. I'm going to jump over to the tabs and go over to the translate tab. And you know the form's only four elements. And we're going to do it in Spanish. And this is the standard UI, but when you get to your elements, you're just going to get the elements and the properties that are translatable. So you're getting the title and default value, which can be translated. If you don't change this, it won't store this. It'll only store you the strings that you're translating. And it's pretty easy. And what's nice about this is you can also send this YAML up to something like LinguaTech or any automated translation service. Now we're getting into all the settings that can be translated, and it's just showing all the values. By the way, they're all default because um, most of the web form settings um, rely on global configuration, which once again, you can translate the global configuration if you wanted to. I'm not even going to hit save or show you a demo of how it works because I don't speak Spanish, but you get the general idea. I'm going to move on. And, you know, why is translating web forms important? It, it just, translated web forms have the biggest return on ROI. It's, it's a big deal. Forms are a big important part of our own site because it's the gateway to your site. It's where you're going to collect information about your users. And if you translate your forms, you're going to have a, a big return on ROI because you're going to reach more users. You're going to say to these users that come to your site, we speak your language. Um, translated forms and content, you know, it just welcomes more users to your website and organization. And you should experiment with translating your forms. Um, you should you translate the default contact form. You can also, yes, you should go into the global configuration, translate that. And if you have time, you should experiment and test an automated translation module like the LinguaTech module, which is a good way to kind of quickly translate your forms instead of manually having someone go through it. That's it for translations. It's pretty simple. Um, you can learn more about me at jrockwitz.com. Uh, have fun playing with the Webform module and take care.